bit with Florine. Oh, hey there, youngins. I'm Florine. And you're about to get fit with Florine. Boy, it sure has been a while. I hope you youngins have been eating your veggies, brushing your teeth, and more importantly, I hope you've been keeping your mind and your heart healthy. Come with me. Now we talked about writing God's word on our heart, and we talked about singing his praises, but today we're going to talk about studying God's word. Now, I know school is certain soon, and the word study may not sound like a lot of fun, but studying God's word is different. Let's go inside. Is an important book, but it can be kind of scary. I mean, where do you start? What if there is a word I don't know? Oh, is part of it more important than the rest? What if I read the wrong thing? Take a deep breath. Actually, take a slow, deep breath. Here's the thing you just have to start. And what's really cool is the whole Bible is one big story. I'm being serious. It starts in the beginning. There was nothing. And then God created everything. He created the waters and the sky and the night and the day and the animals and the plants and all the people. He created a man and a woman and everything was perfect. But one day, the people didn't listen to God. Go figure. And they did something they shouldn't. Because of that sin became a part of the world. And people were separated from God. More people failed the world and they continued to sin against God. So eventually, he sent a big flood to start over with everyone except for Noah and his family. But people still sinned against God. He picked a special guy named Abraham to lead his people. And then there were other people like Moses and David and more that all led God's people for a time. A lot of time passed and people were still separated from God. They tried building special tents and fancy temples, but the truth was their sin still kept them apart from the one who created them. Then God sent a savior. He was born as a baby in a stable, but he was the King of Kings and the Messiah. Can you guess his name? <laughs> That's right, he was Jesus. Jesus grew and taught people what it was like to truly love. Jesus was killed and nailed to a cross because the leaders didn't like the things he said. But after three days, he rose. That's right, he rose from the dead and defeated death once and for all. Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to live in our hearts, and because of what he did, we, God's people, now can have a relationship with him. Jesus had disciples who taught people the things that Jesus did, and a guy named Paul began many churches all over. He started churches so that people could learn and grow together and go out into the world and spread the good news. Woo! You see, the Bible is the story of God pursuing his people. And he still does that today. Woo, hallelujah. The Bible can seem really big, but when we break it down, it isn't as complicated as we thought. I have some tips for you, but join me outside. Whew, that's better. Okay, my tips today are how to study God's word. Tip number one. Now you say it. Tip one. Tip one. Get a Bible that you can read and understand. If you have a big fancy Bible, hold on to it. But start with something a little bit smaller. Maybe a storybook or preschool Bible. Or do you know they even make Bible with comic strips? So cool. Find one that works for you. I actually think the preschool Bible is my favorite. You can never be too big for it. Tip two. You say it. Tip two. Tip two. Ask a grown-up for help. Ask your parents if you don't understand something. Ask a teacher or a church or email kids at portcitychurch.org. Don't 
hold on to your questions, ask for help to find the answers. I actually have a secret for you. Your parents don't have all the answers either. I'm serious. We're all still learning. Okay, last one. Tip three. You say it. Tip three. Tip three. Find videos that teach Bible stories. This one you have to ask your parents about because on YouTube or at the library, you can actually watch videos about different stories in the Bible. Sometimes it helps me better understand what's happening. When I can see it, if I have read something in the Bible and you have talked to your parent about it, ask if you can watch a video. Okay, youngins, that's all for today. I challenge you to try and learn something new this week. Open your Bible and see what you can find. Oh, Florine here is going to be doing the same thing. So next time I see you, I want to hear what you've learned. You boys and girls have a great week. And don't forget, you can work your bodies all day long. But if you don't keep your mind and your heart fit, it's all for nothing. Toodles! Oh, this is a good one. Huh.